Guys, we bought a house. Finally bought a house. Cannot believe I can say that now without the fear that it's gonna not happen or something's gonna go wrong or it's gonna fall through. We have the keys. The house is officially ours. I have got so, so, so much to tell you. Um, but I'm running late because I need to run over to the house now. It's a huge project, which was not the original plan. As you'll see when we get there, it's literally just like a, you'll see when we get there. So I'll pop you in the car and I'll fill you in on everything that's happened in the past couple of weeks because it has been just a crazy couple of weeks. Like not even just house stuff, it's just been insane. So let's run to the car and then we can have a proper chat. Right everyone, I know this angle is not it. I also know I'm gonna go in and out of focus, which is really annoying. And I did my makeup in about 30 seconds and I think it's not blended. I think my under eyes are not blended and there's just a lot going on. I'm also sweating. So please forgive me on all of the above, but we're gonna have to make do with this for a big catch up and things might be like this for a bit of a while. So let me explain to you the things that have happened. Honestly, in the last 10 days, not even two weeks, in the last 10 days, we got the keys to our new house. Kenny's parents, sister and 10 month old nephew, who is just the sweetest thing in the entire world. Um, they all came to stay, just checking I'm not speeding, for um, a week, which was really lovely, except I got gastro. So I was so poorly that the out of hours doctor wanted me to go into hospital on a drip because just because of how dehydrated I was. And then as soon as Kenny's family left, my parents came up, they helped us find a builder. So now it is currently Thursday. We had the keys since last Friday. So we've had the keys for about a week now and a builder starts on Monday. We were not expecting anything to happen on this house, given the time of year, given how busy builders are. I was honestly thinking we'd be lucky if we started work on the house this year. So to have a builder starting on Monday is insane. That is amazing and I cannot wait to just things start getting sorted out in the house but it also just means that things are absolutely manic. There's just so much to do and so much to organise and that is what's been going on for the last couple of weeks. So I am currently on my way to the new house because a skip is being delivered today. How exciting. Um, and I just need to be there to, I don't know, receive the skip. So I thought while we're there, I would give you an empty house tour. Um, as I said, it is a major, major project. And when I say a major project, I'm not talking about, like sometimes YouTubers are like, oh, the house needs a lot of work just because they don't like the color scheme or whatever. No, 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 it's a building site. So wait till you guys see. But it's a beautiful house and it is exactly, exactly where we want it to be. It's our favorite, favorite place in Manchester. And once we've done all our plans for this house, it will be honestly, absolutely beautiful. The other thing is with our is that obviously while Kenny is still playing football we wouldn't have a forever home um, like with this home for example we might stay in it for five years we might stay in it for six months you just never know with football so this is just like the perfect little house for the time being we can make it really lovely obviously there's only two of us and Rue but I can confirm Rue finally gets her garden um, which we're so excited about and yeah so i'm gonna go now because you are probably here to see the house and not me um from this really flattering angle every time i film from here i'm like are you just trying to show your least flattering angle or what's going on god i'm sweating and um, it's also time of the month so there's just an awful lot going on but we're positive we're happy i can't wait it's a super exciting project so i will stop talking now and i will see you when we get to the house welcome home so we're in the new house with our stunning stunning wallpaper it's going to be very echoey because it's just a completely empty old house and the ceilings in this whole house, all of the floors are so, so high. Like, let me go stand back here. I'm not sure if the ceiling's even in the camera, but the ceiling is like easily double my height, probably more than double my height. They're really big, airy rooms. So for the time being, we're just gonna have to work with the echo. I can also see how badly I've done my makeup and the viewfinder, but that's not what we're here to see. So, obviously we are now in a house, not in a huge apartment block with security. So it's gonna have to be a tiny bit more careful with what I show you out the windows and things like that. So let me just give you a tiny bit of background before I show you around the house. So as I said, the house is a complete project. There is not a single room in the house that's not being ripped out. I'll explain the plans kind of as we go. It's a Victorian house and it still has lots of the original features, which I absolutely love it was high on our priority list in terms of how big of a project this is this was we had not planned this we actually wanted to buy a house that was like pretty much ready to move in maybe like a bit of decorating 
but we saw this house and we didn't see anything else that had this much space to work with. It's not a huge house at all, but just in terms of how high the ceilings are and like the big windows and stuff like that. So I absolutely love this house, but you're gonna have to have a lot of vision to see kind of like where it's gonna end up. I will obviously make this now into like a renovating, moving series, which will be going on for several months. So you'll be able to see the plans come to life and at some point I'll show you like all the Pinterest inspo and all of that exciting stuff. So, gonna stop talking, gonna show you around. Are you ready to show everyone your new home? Yeah, good girl. Okay, so this is the view when you first come in. This is our hallway. These are like the kind of things that are just from the original house, which I really like. And then um, there's our staircase. Things are gonna be a little bit dark just because I have to close the shutters. So, stunning, stunning wallpaper, but this is our first um, living area. As I said, there's not going to be too much to see. My dad tells me that this is Victorian skirting board, which you can't buy anymore, so obviously we will be preserving that. Then we've got this huge bay window, and then we've got a log burner in here, which I absolutely love. I was originally praying would be in by Christmas, but that's just not gonna happen. Then we've got Bree's little bed, um, and then obviously just this wallpaper wall. And then the corner sing all around the ceiling, which again, I love and will obviously, of course, keep. And that is pretty much the first room. It's gonna be quite a brief tour, cause like the house is just an empty shell. Um, right, so in here, <laughs> we have already started ripping out a few things. But this is currently like a dining room area, but we are having this whole wall taken out. So this will become like an open plan kitchen kind of dining area. I absolutely love this fireplace. It's like a refurbed original fireplace, which I love. And we will, of course, take out and look after while we do the building work. Um, and then through here, is just the current kitchen. This was Kenny and my dad yesterday. Um, so we've got quite big plans. This is the room that's going to have the most work done. So obviously every single thing you can see right now will be ripped out. This wall will be taken out. This will be taken out. The skylight up here will be um, raised and this will basically be, this ceiling will be as high as the ceilings throughout the rest of the house. And it will just be a really big, bright, airy kind of kitchen living area. There's not really too much point showing you much else because like literally not one thing is staying. The only thing we are going to keep actually, because I absolutely love it, is they have got this kind of like pantry thing, which is actually really beautiful. It's got these built-in shelves and then like the wood paneling at the back. So we'll probably just repaint this. And I'm not sure where in the room it will be because um the kitchen might end up even being in this part we don't know yet but i think that's a really nice thing so we'll keep that um basement i'm a bit scared of the basement so the basement down here is actually fully converted but i still find it a bit scary i don't know why um and we've got all the electrics turned off at the moment so i can't even turn the light on but i'm going to grab a torch and we'll run down and like just quickly quickly show you okay we've got the goods this was like stuff we've ripped out of the basement already um, torches on. So down here, it's absolutely filthy that it has been converted. And obviously there are lights, the power's just off. So first things first, we've got this stunning bathroom, which will actually be really useful. Obviously we'll just strip it all out and then put in uh, new everything, and then it will be really useful. Um, and then in here, they used to use this as an office, um, but we will not be doing that. We are going to strip out just all of this, take it back to the brick, replaster it, put down new flooring, and I'm just gonna use this as a utility room. I think that's what it would be best for. I think if we were gonna stay in this house forever, forever, maybe we'd try and make it into a cinema room or something, um, but because we'll not be here long term, I think it'll be good for a utility room. There's actually a pretty big room down here and once all of these built-in cupboards are out, it will be pretty spacious. So that's the basement and um, let's leave because I'm not a fan of it down here at the moment. Okay, so if we now go up to the first floor, straight ahead we've got a bathroom which is kind of like the most recently renovated room in the house so it's not too bad, although this will all be 
be replaced. I'm thinking like freestanding bath and then this will be the family bathroom. So yeah, it's a really good size and once it's done, it will be really nice. Oh God, why am I so out of breath? I'm not used to stairs. Um, then just up here, we've got one of the bedrooms. Um, again, all these wardrobes will come out. We'll knock out this weird door cupboard thing. I do like this door though. So you see this color of the wood, all of the doors are just like the original doors, um, but they've all been stained like this, which I don't like. So I think we'll just strip them all back to this kind of wood and then keep all the um, original doors. So obviously this will become, what will this be? This will be a guest bedroom. Obviously this just the carpet needs to come out, the walls need to potentially be replastered. We're replastering the majority of the house, I think. Um, so probably this room too. And then there is a really nice big window here. And that is the first bedroom. And then you come along here. This is what will be the master bedroom. It's actually a really big space. Um, Kenny actually did this yesterday. Would you believe that? He started stripping the plaster off. I think he finds it fun. Um, but yeah, again, with this room, we just need... So the original flooring is throughout the whole house. Um, this is actually the same flooring as downstairs. It's just got a different finish on it. So we're currently debating whether to try and sand and restore the original wood flooring. Be careful, Rui. Or, um, ah, Rui, I think you should go out of here. Come on, come with me. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Good girl. Um, yeah, whether we should restore the original wood floor or whether we want it to be a bit more cozy and just put carpet. I don't know, on these things, I'm not sure if you can get the scale, but the ceilings up here are almost as high as downstairs. Um, and we'll pretty much just have like a bed in here and bedside tables, and probably not much else. So it'll be a really beautiful room. We were also talking about whether to buy a refurbed fireplace and just put it in here as just like a feature because obviously that's where it would have originally been. Yesterday, look how cool this is. And Kenny was pulling the plaster off. He found this paper, which is dated 1975. So we imagined that is when the fireplace was filled in. Should we go and show everyone upstairs? Do you want to come? Do you want to come? Um, okay, so then we go up the second flight of stairs to the top floor of the house, which has always been um, a top floor. It wasn't converted which is really nice because there's still a really good ceiling height. And in other houses we viewed, the ceiling height up here was a bit low um, just because they'd been converted from attics or whatever. So, okay, so coming in here, we've got one, hello, nice mirror they've left. <laughs> That's flattering, isn't it? That's like one of those mirrors from like a fairground. Um, but yeah, so nice original flooring, blah, blah, blah. We'll obviously strip this back, probably keep Will we keep the wooden hair? I don't know. Um, and then we've just got a tiny kind of like loft attic area up there, um, which we'll probably just close the door and ignore. I actually would love that door to be closed now. Obviously this is a third bedroom, but while we live in this home, this will become Kenny's dressing room. So we'll just put in some wardrobes and he can have all his clothes, all his boy stuff in here. So this will be Kenny's little room. And then this one is our fourth bedroom, but this, will be my dressing room, which I cannot wait for. Um, so lots of work in this room because you see this kind of like alcove here, we are going to pop a wall across there and that will be an ensuite so that obviously in the future if we were to rent it out or whatever, there is an ensuite on the top floor. But for the time being, I'll just obviously put all my makeup and everything in here. Um, and then I want to build in a, just a dressing table in this alcove here. And then this will become, this is like some really weird like storage thing they had, I don't know. But we're gonna build in obviously a cupboard and storage there. And then the rest of this room will just be wardrobe space and my little dressing room, which I am so excited for. These are the doors I was saying throughout the entire house, we've got these original doors. So if we can sand them down to a nice neutral brown, that'll be really lovely. Right, you, should we go downstairs, hey? Come on then. So that is pretty much everything I can show you at the moment. There's not too much to see. There is so much work that needs to be done. The only thing I haven't shown you, which is like in front of me right now, is we do have a really lovely garden here, which is obviously so exciting because 
we wanted that for Rue. The garden also needs doing and once we've done it, it will be a bit more private so I'll be able to show you a bit more. But we've got lots of lovely trees, we've got a little shed and we've got lots of really lovely plans for that. But most importantly, Rue finally gets her garden, which I'm so excited about. But like I said, on Monday, today's Thursday, on Monday, we have got our first kind of stage of the building stuff being done, just stripping everything out. And then we had the team that will knock this kitchen wall out and raise the ceiling and all of that kind of stuff. They came in yesterday and they said they should be able to get it done for Christmas. And obviously in the meantime, while the kitchen's being done, we can replaster and decorate and paint and all of that stuff that upstairs floors so lots to do but it's all happening that is the that is the house guys so this is kind of like very 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 part one of the buying a house renovating a house moving series that we're going to start now but i'm really looking forward to just a whole new level to like the home kind of content that we can do um and when it comes to planning furniture and buying all the bits and pieces and stuff, I know we're miles away from that, but I'm just so excited. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. Let me know what you want to see as part of this series, because obviously we've never done this before. And I will catch up with you next Sunday. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.